so hard to play against, so without a doubt. But they didn't have the 87 and 0 streak, so can't really put them on the same tier. They could almost be S tier, but I feel like I'm not gonna put too many teams in S tier. NIP 2014 uh, as E. Didn't NIP have that like insane record and everything? 2014, they must have been dominating, so I'll put them into S. NIP 2014. ATM. Honestly, I didn't watch NIP 2014, so like I don't have like a really good like scope. I just know that they won a lot, so I'll just put them at the A tier. Oh, okay. No, you know what? The NAP 2014 put them as D. And then C, I will put the two th 2014 NIP, also with Virtus Pro 2014. I'm gonna put VP 2014 at C tier for pretty much the same reason as NIP. I honestly didn't watch them back then, but they didn't have the 87 or no streak, so... Can't really put them on the same tier. VP 2014, I think it's A tier. I feel like VP was up there with the teams that were like dominating the others. Virtus Pro 2014 A also. I, I'm an authentic, I'm a bit nostalgic case when I see this. So on the S tier, I will put uh, Virtus Pro 2014 for sure. So hard to play against. So without a doubt. B, I will put. Virtus Pro to for 2014 and Cloud9 2018 because it was uh, really hard majors and NIP 2014 as well, I think. Um, Cloud9 2018, I'm not sure if I'm underrating them, but I would maybe put into B tier. They were a really strong lineup, but I don't really remember them being that, that dominant during um, other tournaments. Now let's put Cloud9 2018 to C tier. I think that their win was actually like really, kind of really crazy, like the mental fortitude they had to have in that major to be able to come back. Cloud9, I, I remember this overtime versus Face Clan on the Inferno. It was really stressful for players, I think. Uh, and like Virtus Pro in 2014, I was seeing these emotions and I don't know, just want to put it to the B. Actually, maybe that's why they should be a B tier. They can idle at the B tier. Cloud9. Uh, e, it's not an era, they did really great at the tournament, but it's, for me it's, it was one shot. And Gambit F. Cloud9 2018, I'll put those in B. Cloud9. I think that I'll just put like Astralis uh, 2017 with Gear B at uh, B. And Astralis as E. I don't remember them like winning a bunch of tournaments like after or before the major, so it was kind of like the one off before like they got Magus and like kind of owned everybody. With, uh, with Astralis in CTR. Yeah. At A tier, I will put Astralis with Kirby. So Astralis 17 with Kirby, I would put into A tier. They could almost be S tier, but I feel like I'm not gonna put too many teams in S tier. Astralis with Magus is S tier for me because. I have uh, personally competed against them and I feel like a lot of teams give credit to them uh, for their amazing land play and style of CS. Okay, can we put Astralis with Magus at the top S tier? Best team of all time, incredibly hard to play against. So they're definitely the S tier, S -tier team. I will get the Astralis with Magics, Magics at A. Of course, uh, as with Magix is one of the biggest era CS I'd ever see. And I will say Astralis with Magisk at S tier as well. Astralis with uh, Magisk was uh, really dominating. So I'm gonna put uh, Astralis with Magix in S tier for sure. The top ranked teams in the S section, I will put Astralis with Magisk and then also, uh, yeah, both. SK 2016 and LG 2016. I think they were just super dominant, all three of them. I'm putting SK 2016 and LG 2016 together at the S tier list because they were really good as well for their time. Very difficult team to play against. LG uh, 2016 uh, as B. A tier, I will put, I will say SK 2016. Well, I'm gonna put SK in A tier. So I would put SK as C, for sure. SK 2016 is S tier. They were also dominating, they were really good on land, they kept winning majors. And LG 2016, isn't it the same team? They just changed organization, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll put them into S tier as well. And LG. 
LG in Beach Year 2. You can put LG, LG, I think, LB. LG and C 2014, I'll put those in C. In C tier LDLC. You know what? As D, I will get the LDLC and the, and the NV. Okay, I'm gonna put LDLC to A tier, and then NV to C tier. I just like the, the LDLC lineup then. I remember watching that and I was rooting like super hard as a fan. Yeah, NV in B tier. LDLC 2014, man. I know it's the same as NV, I feel like, like the core lineup, I think. Because I remember LDLC also dominating, so maybe I'll put them into A tier, but they're up there almost reaching the S tier. Uh, I will put NV 2015 in B, and I think I will put LDLC 2014 to B team list as well. NV 2015. If I'm not mistaken, this was when they won the major and they were really dominant. But I'll put them into S tier because I think they were like really dominant. And in the A teams, both Fnatic lineups 2013 and 15. And then for A tier, we can put Fnatic 2015. I think 2015 Fnatic was a really, really strong team. I thought that they played really well off of each other and that they were just like really good overall. I mean, all these teams are going to be super good. Obviously, they won the major. So the Fnatic 2015 on S tier. I will also put uh, Fnatic 2015 in the S tier, which I believe was uh, definitely a, a hard one to beat as well. Fnatic, uh, yeah, 2015 and 2013, S tier, I think. I think they was really dominating in these two years and Fnatic was really great performance. Fnatic 2015, I'll put into A tier. Like there were only so few organizations and teams at that time who were dominating. And I feel like they were one of them, so I'll put them into A tier. I would put Gambit. Uh, Gambit 2017. I'll actually put those back in A as E. So Gambit 2017 to D tier because they only had like the one off event. Gambit 2017 goes into B tier as well. The same reasoning as, as Cloud9. I, I can put Gambit at C. Of course, they win the major and they was facing Astralis in semifinals and the Immortals in final. I know this use and uh, he was saying like uh, it was really bad preparation and they think like they will lose this tournament. After this, they won it. I think it's, uh, you know, some... Uh, Magic, you know, magic tournament for Gambit. Okay, Fnatic 2013, I'm gonna put them at D tier. Actually, I'll put it to E tier. So honestly, I didn't watch back then. And I, I'm not gonna be, I'm not just gonna put everyone at, at all these tiers. Fnatic 2013, indeed. Yeah, they won the major, but the game was not the same at all. With this level, I don't know if they, if they pass the group stage. Uh, I would put uh, the Fnatic 2013 uh, at the bottom. It was the first major and, uh, and it was more an upset because uh, everyone was uh, thinking it was either NIP or Usder Games who gonna won it, but they just upset NIP in the final. But it was not um, like a big, big level of, uh, of CS showing, I would say. Fnatic 2013, man, I'll put them into A tier because I don't know, but I remember the organization being good, so I feel like at the early days of CS they must have had a really good lineup. Virtus Pro versus Fnatic as the S tier. Uh, I definitely don't know which team will, will have win today, but uh, it will be an amazing uh, show match to see, I believe.